Hello everybody and welcome to episode 10 of the Whiskey Dictionary. Today we're going to be talking about Craigellachie 13, a single malt scotch from the River Spey. So first off, let me apologize for not putting out a video for a little while. I know it's been a couple of months. A uh, big reason for that is I've had a few colds and work has been beyond ridiculous. So uh, I've barely been able to drink whiskey, never mind shoot a video about it. So I'm back. We're going to talk about Craig Ellicke 13. And uh, this particular whiskey has a long history. Unfortunately, it does not share the fame of some of its closest neighbors. However, um, part of the reason that you've probably never even heard of this one is that 98% of their output actually goes into making blends for doers. Uh, the other 2%, of course, is kept for producing their single malt. Now, they offer four different agings of this. They have the 13, 17, 19, and 23-year uh, aged whiskeys. So uh, hopefully you've got a bottle of this hanging around. Uh, if you do, pour a dram, and we'll get right to the nosing and the tasting. So before I get into the color, I just want to say that I grabbed this graphic here from Whiskey Magazine, figure I should give them some credit, but basically what it has is the colors of whiskeys from zero to two. Um, there's increments of a tenth in between each one, and it basically just helps you identify the color. So I looked at this thing, and basically uh, looking at this, I'd rate this at about a 0.5, which is yellow gold. and. Uh, I'm going to try to use this bar from now on when identifying the color. I think it helps. So um, go ahead and nose this whiskey and you know give yourself a second to kind of breathe it in. Now this is 46% alcohol, so just be a little careful. Don't like deep inhale. You might burn your nose a little bit, but go ahead. So um, as far as what you smell, uh, you know, hopefully you've kind of picked up on a few things. If not, pause the video and. Uh, Basically, for me, um, you get get a bit of honey. Uh, that's that's actually one of the first things I noticed. But I uh, I made some notes here. I, I picked up grass after a little while of of uh, nosing this, but also a little mild citrus. Now, something I've noticed is that if you hold this in your hand, um, not every whiskey seems to do this, but holding this in your hand for a little while, letting it kind of warm up a bit, um, brings out a few more notes in the nose, but also uh, adding a little bit of water to this one helps bring out the nose significantly. I'm not going to be adding any water to this one because I do find that it doesn't taste as good if you add water. I prefer this just straight, nothing nothing to it, not chilled, no anything. Um, so I'm going to cheers my brother-in-law Evan for picking this up for me for my birthday. Um, so here you go Ev, cheers. All right, so uh, about what you taste. So, you know, once again, take a sec, just pause the video if you want, have a few sips, and then kind of kind of think about what you taste. Personally, um, I taste wood, which you usually do, um, but it's not, not really smoky like in, in some uh, other scotches that you'll taste. It's not smoky, but it's more like toasted almonds. Um, so it's, you know, kind of like a mild smoke. Um, it's very earthy. Uh, I kind of described it um, in my notes here about like if you were walking down like a, a well-used dirt road and there was like a little bit of dirt in the air and you take like a deep breath. <laughs> it's I know it's weird, but like you'll you hopefully you'll notice the same thing. It's not as harsh, you know, but it's it's just got a very much like a dirt, but not unpleasant uh, if that makes any sense taste to it. Um, I feel like. Frankly, I feel like it's more complex than I personally know how to describe or, or taste yet. Um, if you taste anything different, please let me know in the comments. I, I did see quite a few other things looking up some of the notes about this. Um, one of the main things that I, I found surprising and I never really got a hint of was people say that there's a meaty uh, um, like flavor to this, which I could tell you why and, and I will get to that in a second. but. Um, I'm curious if, if anybody else really tastes that because frankly I, I never did. Um, 
So I had a hard time getting a handle on the scotch, as you can tell. Uh, you know, as you can tell, it's about half done, um, and about three quarters of that was spent just tasting it and nosing it and tasting it and tasting it and tasting it. And, tasting it. and uh, you know, at some point, tasting it over and over again, you start losing a bit of that subtlety. Um, but it it wasn't, you know, it wasn't bad. It's certainly uh, one of the more fun things to do. So uh, anyway, I'm interested to hear what else you may or may not taste. Um, the nose develops more the more that you you smell it. Um, so you know, don't hesitate to kind of sip nose, sip nose. Um, you may get more out of it. Um, there's not much more else to say about this particular whiskey, and part of that is because it's it's totally just um, you know to the side of its its bigger brothers that are in the same area. There's McKellen, Glenfiddich, uh, Abelor, Glen Grant. They're all big names right next door. Um, and as I mentioned before about this not really pushing their main product too much because, uh, you know, doers. Um, so there were a few unique traits about this particular distillery. Uh, one thing in particular is most distilleries, when they are malting their, their grains, they have a, um, like a gas burner that they'll use to keep uh, humidity in the air. Um, this place uses a heavy fuel burner and because of that they say that it gets some of the sulfur taste into the grains and that's where that meaty flavor uh, tends to come from so i don't know there's definitely a reason for it i'm just not getting it um, aside from that there's worm tub condensers now this is one of the few distilleries and i i did some research i found a very small handful of distilleries that still use worm tubs now what a worm tub um, uh, condenser does is it's a big copper pipe and so they have their new distillate and uh, it comes into the copper pipe, it swirls around, swirls around, and as it's doing that, it's going into this big iron box, which is filled with cold water that is from the River Spey, and it's kept cold. Um, so as, the, uh, as it comes through, you know, the cold and the copper, it condenses and then it comes back out the other side. This quick chilling also gives some of that, that meaty flavor to it as well. Um, that alone can, can give it a bit of that flavor, never mind the heavy fuel and the uh, humidity and whatnot. So aside from that, um, not really much else special about this particular whiskey. I personally didn't love it. Um, I would I would suggest you skip this one, but you know if you have it and if you like it, whatever. But uh, in, in my book, I, I probably won't buy this one again. So um, that's about it for uh, Craig Ellicke 13. I might try the 23 at some point and just for the heck of it, but uh, it won't be for a while. <laughs> so next time I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite brands, the Woodford Reserve Double Oak. So I got my hands on this recently and it's fantastic. I will say that I, right ahead of time, buy this one. Um, I'm also, the next episode will be on the Woodford Reserve um, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Now this one's pretty new. Um, you may, I'm telling you now because you may not be able to get your hands on it if you wait too long. Um, this right here is like, I think it's 7,381st bottle. So it's right up there. Um, anyway, this, this may or may not stick around too long. Get your hands on it. I have not tried it yet, but I've heard good things. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you've been enjoying these videos, please like, and subscribe. It's really the best way to get any sort of following to this channel. And, uh, personally, every time somebody subscribes, I, I get an email. It's exciting. You know, I love it. Um, I'm very active on the Facebook page, uh, the links below. So um, please like and subscribe. I appreciate every new follower I get and I look forward to doing the next video. Hopefully it's not two months away. <laughs>